Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Right now is when we go, good shot, great shot, right? Right now is when we talk on every screen down here and switch and, and ice and all the stuff we do on point. That's Steve Kerr. This is what his teams do. They take away a lot of easy shots, easy baskets. Yeah, you, you heard it. Ice the screens. Communicate. Give me everything you've got defensively. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. The sharpshooters, Curry and Thompson, are at the one and the two. Looney out there with Iguodala. And it's West in at the pivot, manning the middle. And the basket by Curry. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Screen by Capella. Paul gets to a reason. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And now, running up the court, West pushing it up. Iguodala dishes to West. Golden State moving it around. Curry passes to Thompson. Feeds it to Iguodala. West against Capella. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Curry with the three. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. All against Curry. Kicks it out to Ariza. And he's good on the three ball. And the Rockets lead by one. And the three-point shooting skills of Ariza are just lethal. A volume shooter from there. You can flat out light it up. And Thompson kicks it to Looney. Dishes to West. To the inside. And counted. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. Main, but he is still one of the most feared players in the league on offense. And when he wants to, he can take over a game. And there's just nothing you can do about it. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Kevon Looney. Young is subbed in for Clay Thompson. And really at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. I mean, I always say that to let the other team get the rebound and continue their possession. Boxing out is simple, and to forget to do it can be costly. And with Curry and his ability to put a team away in one quarter break, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, Curry just has that ability to end the game's competitiveness in a short span. What is amazing is he does so much and will often sit out the fourth quarter because of the lead he's helped to build. Gordon gets to Capella. Gordon with a screen on West. Three-pointer. And there's Eric Gordon on the assist by Paul. Paul's got three assists tonight. Gordon has always been a lethal perimeter shooter. When he gets a clean look, he doesn't hesitate pulling the trick. Curry kicks it to West. Curry dishes to West. Outside Curry. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Curry's got 36. <laughs> I mean, what else can you do against him? Screen by Capella. Ball passes to Gordon. He kicks to Ariza. Screen by Capella. Houston needs to get a shot. It's stolen by Capella. That one drops for him. Good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. That's just an attack mindset. I love it. Game on the line. He's our competing guys. How young. Green, the screen. Iguodala kicks to Curry. Green with a screen on Paul. To the paint. Up off the screen. And there's the bucket as Green finishes it off. Or inside, outside, in transition. Draymond's an extremely versatile scorer. Paul dishes to Capella. Passes it to a reason. Curry against Paul. Screen by Capella. Down low. Trying to go for an alley oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. 
Curry kicks to Iguodala. Green the pass to Curry. To take the lead. And it's good on the way. Timeout, timeout. Curry's just got 10 points in the quarter. Something lit a fire under him this quarter. Their lead safe as long as he's on the floor. It's possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. some changes. Kevin Durant's checked in for West, and it's Clay Thompson in for Nick Young. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team, and he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but you can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Thanks so much, David. Just three to shoot from deep Harden. He makes his 10th basket of the night from the field. He has missed on three this game only. Tremendous, tremendous poise in the heat of battle. That's why coach wants him taking a big shot. Curry is inside. Defended by Paul. Stephen Curry again. Curry's got 40 points. The Rockets have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Paul kicks to Capella. And the pass to Harden. A second chance effort. And Capella with a nice bucket inside. Oh man, Capella absolutely destroys the opposition on the offensive glass. Using that gigantic body of his to snag down. Second chance opportunity. Big bucket. That's how you do it if you're Steph Curry. And here is Paul. Shoots from 14. Here's Tucker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Tucker's got nine points here in the second half. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Curry kicks to Durant. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. When things get tough, you start to lean on the stars, and Durant always seems to come up with a clutch shot. And that one misses. Houston's gone 4 to 6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. The shot's good. Man, this thing is just going back and forth tonight. Each team is stepping up, rising to the challenge. Yet another lead. Curry kicks to Durant. Six to shoot. James Harden with the rebound. Rod is on the line here. Crowd is so focused. Baseline drive. Nails it. And this atmosphere is bananas. Where guys separate themselves by how they're down by three. There's 37 seconds left to play in the final quarter. On its way from Curry for two. That shot misses. And Houston the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Ball can't get it to go. Oh man, you can't get much better look from three point range than that one. That just wasn't a good one. Yeah, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two here. But it, you know what? It's so funny. It's a lot of discussion as to whether Steph is now the face of the league. You know, something Steph himself says, he gets a little annoyed with the time. That's why his teammates trust him so much at the line. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. 
so he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. That's what's your take? You know, you'd love to be able to clear space and get that triple, but you can also do the two with a quick foul. But these are some of the toughest decisions. I mean, a good argument can be made for either case. Lob pass to Capella. Is more than and, and taking a technical there is the last thing you want to do. The opposite of smart basketball. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. No choice but to foul there. Though. He's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. He step into the line knowing he has a chance to seal the deal. He does it. So we see the Rockets get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of...